Cyber risk is defined as the potential harm or loss due to unauthorized use of information systems. A cybersecurity risk assessment is the process of identifying, analyzing and evaluating risks affecting an organization's assets. It is a critical component of risk management and data protection efforts. It is also known as security risk analysis in cybersecurity. What is the purpose of an IT risk assessment? The primary purpose of an IT risk assessment is to identify critical assets, vulnerabilities posing the most risk to the business, impact and likelihood of exploitation of the threats and risk appetite of your organization. How to perform a risk assessment? Before we begin assessing risks, we first need the data, its value and whereabouts. This is known as a data audit. Data audits. Data audits could be massive in the scope given the operations of a business. Here are the key questions that make up your data audit. What data is collected? Do we have functional use of entire data or certain items? Where is it stored? How is it protected? How long is it kept for? Who has access to this data? Is the data storage location secure? In the case of GDPR or other consumer privacy laws, what is the process for data deletion? The following steps are part of a thorough review that provides a template for future use. Identify and prioritize assets. Identify the assets to define the scope of this assessment. An asset could be servers, databases, key people, sensitive documents such as contracts, SLAs, customer contact information, trade secrets, intellectual property and other key information assets. Identify cyber threats. Generally, two types of threats are part of this phase. It involves malicious threats related to internal or external attacks and non-malicious threats. Identify vulnerabilities. This section deals with specifics with real chances of happening. It would help if you needed to identify vulnerabilities. It includes cataloging and discovering the weaknesses in your network. Determine the likelihood and assess the impact. It is fundamental to calculating risk probability to reduce the possibility of futuristic events from happening. This section takes threats and vulnerabilities input from previous phases to calculate the likelihood that an attack would succeed and impact a successful attack. Prioritize risk and recommend controls. In this section, predefined or generic risk levels such as high, medium, low are taken as a basis to determine risk mitigation measures. High risk an organization should develop corrective measures as soon as possible. Medium risk an organization should develop corrective measures within a reasonable period of time. Short term plan. Low risk an organization should decide whether to implement corrective action or live with the risk. Accept, prepare a cyber risk assessment report. A risk assessment report serves as a crucial step to present a business case to the management. This output includes a thorough report highlighting each risk with relevant threats, likelihood and impact factors followed by risk mitigation advice. https colon slash slash the cypher.com